we're going to agree in prayer for today. Don't just listen to me pray. Let's all pray corporately together. Father, we just thank you. We are in awe of you. We are in awe of your greatness and your power. And Lord, we've come together today, one mind and one accord. I talk to everybody in this place that have come in that door and they all say they're expecting. So the spirit of expectancy is the breeding ground of miracles, I believe. And Lord, we are asking you, your Holy Spirit, to be in this house, to move, to manifest yourself in this place. Not just so we can feel you, but God, that you would change us, that you would deliver us, set us free. Lord, that you would take us on the path that you have planned for us, that we would walk down that path that you have chosen for us, and that we would walk in faith, full of faith, women of God, proclaiming the good news in the dark world as we leave from this place, that we would be endued with your power to speak truth where we go. Now have your way, God. Pray for everything that takes place today to be for your glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Now let's just worship. Let's just worship the Lord. Now I found one thing about being in women's conferences. Women know how to worship. They do. You can be in a room of men and they, they do pretty good, but women, we just we know how to just get in the presence and focus in. So I, I encourage you to do that. Let's corporately do that. That the presence of the Lord would just fill this house. And be free. You don't just have to stand at your seat. You can walk around and you can lift your hands and you can dance if you want to. You don't have to. I'm just giving it out there. There's freedom in the house today to worship however you want. Lord, have your way. Have your way in this place.
Oh, heartbreak's not my home. You are, you are. Oh, and death is not the end. Hey, you are, you are. Fear is not my, fear is not my future. You are, you are. Sickness is not my story. You are, you are. Heartbreak's not my, heartbreak's not my home. Come on. You are, you are. Death is not the end. You are, you are. You hello, hello peace, hello joy, hello love. Hello, hope it's a new horizon. Hello, 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 peace, hello, joy, hello, love. Hello, strength, hello, hope it's a new horizon. You know, when we were practicing this song last night, I got back to the hotel and I jotted this down. And I wanted to share with you today, real quick. Before the children of Israel could say hello to the promised land, they had to say goodbye to Egypt. Before they could say hello to the promised land, they had to say goodbye to what held them captive, right? Before you can say hello to your future, you have to say goodbye to your past. Amen? Before you can say hello to joy and peace, you have to say goodbye to depression and shame. Before you say hello to God, you have to say goodbye to the enemy. And there was a point in their journey where they had to say goodbye to their past so they could walk into their future. There was a point in their journey where they had to let go of the chains that were on the, ooh, I can feel that, and walk in the freedom that was before them. It's easy to say hello to God's blessings, but it's hard to say goodbye to your vices. But I declare today that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom, there is hope, there is joy, there is peace. So somebody needs to take a literal step today to signify that you are not staying here. We are going to take a step today and we are going to walk into our future. Somebody take a step with me today and say goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, fear is not my future. You are are. Somebody declare it. Sickness is not my story. You are, you are. Heartbreak's not my home. You are, you are. Death is not the end. Death is not the end. You are, you are. Hello, hello, peace. Hello, joy. Hello, love. Hello strength, hello hope, it's a new horizon. Hello, hello, hello streets, hello joy, hello love. Hello strength, hello hope, it's a new horizon. Now we're going to say goodbye. Goodbye fear, goodbye guilt, goodbye shame. Goodbye, fear. Goodbye, fear. Goodbye, guilt. Goodbye, shame. Goodbye, pain. Goodbye, grave. It's a new It's a new ride.
you. You have to step out. God has got you right there. He's going to catch you when you step out. He's got plans for your life. You have to trust in him. Trust in him. I saw 
sought the Lord, and He heard, and He answered. I sought the Lord, and He heard, and He answered. I sought the Lord, and He heard, and He answered. That's why I trust Him. That's why I trust Him. I sought the Lord, and He heard, and He answered. I sought the Lord. And he heard, and he answered. I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. That's why I trust him. That's why I trust him. I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. of worship in this place. We do one more song. It's called Jesus Have It All. Jesus Have It All. The Lord spoke to me years ago, you know, different circumstances I've gone through. He says, you know, I ordered your steps, Sonia. And when you complain about the different things you go through, then you're complaining about the steps that I ordered for you. So I stopped complaining about my steps. So when I go through difficult times, I just lift my hands in prayer. Yes. I say, it all belongs to you, Jesus. Yes. You can have it all. Yes. So let's just get that mindset today. Jesus, have it all. Let's just do this one more song. The atmosphere of worship under the king this morning.
forward and we hear the word of God that's coming forth proclaimed in each of our speakers' words. 
Lord, I pray, God, that you would open each and every person's ears in this place and their hearts to receive, Lord. Speak to them personally, that they can jot something down, thus saith the Lord today, and that they'll leave this place different, transformed in their mind. Praise. He's amazing. His presence is here.